Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw the parts and assemblies of uh, lathe gear change lever. Actually, in lathe gear change lever, we have uh, six components. The first component is a gear bracket, then a lever handle, then a pivot pin, a change pin, then pin, and last one is a nut. So I am going to start with uh, the gear bracket. So in the gear bracket, I am going to uh, draw this profile, then I am going to extrude it. So initially I am going to start with this face, then I am going to extrude it. So open SOLIDWORKS, create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch and draw the profile of the surface. Now go to smart dimensions and mark all the dimensions. So this length is given as 85 mm. Then the overall height, so you can select this point and this line and you can mark the dimension. The overall height is 70 mm. Then the height of this region is 30 mm. Then the distance between this point and this face is given as 65 mm then the distance between these two points is given as 100 mm this height is given as 25 mm now to mark these dimensions we need to look on the dimensions of the next part so here we are going to insert this 12 mm uh, lever handle so the gap height is 12 mm so this gap is 12 mm okay. then uh, out of 30 mm 12 mm is the gap then the remaining 18 will be shared by the two edges so each has a height of 9 mm and the length of this edge is given as 22 mm mark the fillet so the fillet radius at these two edges are given as r8 so you can click the point click ok then the fillet at this region is given as 15 r15 so you can change the dimension you can click this vertex then click ok now go to circle and draw a circle and uh, the radius of the circle the diameter is given as 8 mm now again go to circle so here draw the circle from the center of the fillet and mark the dimension as 8 mm now go to features click extruded bars and extrude this to a thickness of 25 mm. Next I am going to cut this region. So I am going to start the sketch from this profile and I am going to draw a rectangle. Go to smart dimensions. The dimension between these two lines is given as 10 mm in the drawing. So we don't need to worry about uh, the other dimensions because we are going to create the cut. So go to extruded cut, change the direction and select through all. Click OK. Next I am going to create uh, the cut here. So select this surface, click sketch and draw another rectangle. Go to smart dimensions. So the length of this cut is 22 mm and the material allowed limit is given as 15 mm go to features click extruded cut and select through all 
So now we have created the cut. Next I am going to create uh, the extrude here. So select the surface, click sketch and draw a circle. The diameter is given as 22 mm. Okay. So actually this dia circle and uh, the fillet are in same axis. So you can select control, click the circle and select this fillet and make it as concentric. Now go to features, click extruded bars. So the extrude distance, you can see the image. So the overall height is 55. We have already defined a distance of 25. So it is 55 minus 25. Then click OK. Next I am going to create uh, the hole. So click the surface, click sketch and draw a circle. So the hole diameter is not actually directly given. You can see uh, the pivot pin diameter. So this 15 mm uh, pivot pin is going to be inserted in this hole. So I am going to create a hole for 15 mm diameter. The diameter is 15. Again, select these two curves and make it as concentric. Now go to features, click extruder cut, select through all, then click OK. Next, I'm going to create uh, the pinhole in the surface. So click the surface, click sketch and draw a circle. So the diameter of the hole the diameter of the pin it is 4 mm and it is located at a distance of 7 mm from this edge you can see that so the distance is 7 mm now i'm going to locate this circle in the center so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select control select this uh, center point and you can move it here and you can select the center point of this line and make it as horizontal then click ok go to features click extruder cut and select through all then click ok ok now i'm going to create the hole at this surface so click the surface click sketch so actually here So there are two holes. So one is R6 that is diameter 12 and another hole in that hole I am going to insert this change pin. So the diameter is 6 mm. So we have two holes of diameter 6 and 12 mm. So the distance between the center and this edge is 8 minus 3 that is the radius of the hole. So 8 minus 3 is 5 mm. So I am going to draw a hole of diameter 6 mm and at a distance of 5 mm from the edge and I am going to locate it at the center so click the center point and the center point of this line and make it as horizontal. So in that hole you can see that there are two connections are there. We will draw that later. Initially, we can cut this. So go to features, click extruded cut and you can select through all. Okay. Next, if you see the drawing, so there is a cut up to the center. Okay. So then I am going to create the cut. So you can select the surface, click sketch and I am going to draw. A rectangle so the height of this rectangle is same as the hole diameter so it is 6 mm go to features click extruded cut and extrude this up to the center so the overall width is 15 so it is 15 divided by 2 you can click ok next I am going to create a 12 mm hole at this side so go to sketch 
and draw a circle. The diameter is 12 mm. And both the circles have same center point. So click control, select these two circles and make it as concentric. Now, this circle is extruded up to this edge. So you can uh, go to features, click extruded cut, select up to surface and select this surface and remove the material. So this hole is very important. Okay, So you have to uh, carefully read the image and you have to mark the dimensions carefully. Next, I'm going to apply the material, right click on that and apply plain carbon steel. Now save this, save it in a separate folder and the file name is 1. You can close this. Next, I'm going to draw the second part. So create a new part, select the front plane, click sketch and draw a rectangle of height 12 mm and width 35 mm. So extrude this. Actually the extrude distance is not directly given but it is same as the thickness of the plate that is your gear bracket. So it is 15 mm. Next I am going to draw a profile here. So select the surface, click sketch and draw a rectangle. So the height of the rectangle is given as 6 mm and the length length of the rectangle is given as 7 mm. So this rectangle starts from this edge so you can click Control, select these two edges and make it as collinear. To locate the rectangle at the center, so you can click Control, select the center point of this rectangle and you can select the center point of this line and make it as horizontal. Or otherwise, you can mark the dimensions between these two edges. Go to Futures, click, click Extruded Bus, change the direction and extrude this to a distance of 4 mm. Now I am going to create a hole here. So select the surface, click Sketch and draw a hole at the center with the radius of, I mean diameter of 4 mm and at a distance of 14 mm from this edge. So, so to save it, fix it in the center, click control, select the center point of the circle and so you can move it here and you can find the center point and click horizontal. Now go to features, click extruded cut, select through all then click OK. Now select the surface, click sketch and draw a circle. The diameter is given as 8 mm. Click control, select this point and make it as vertical. Then click control, select the center point and the center point of this edge and make it as horizontal then click ok now go to futures click extruded sorry click extruded bus and extrude this to a distance of 75 mm okay now i'm going to draw the spear here so click the surface draw a circle, the diameter is given as 30 mm 
So click control, select these two circles and make it as concentric. Now draw a line and connect these two edges. Now go to trim entities and trim the unwanted surface. Go to features, click revolve boss and select this axis. Click OK. Now right click on the material and uh, apply plain carbon steel. So to change the color of this uh, ball, click the surface and uh, you can see appearance in that select revolve. So because we are going to change the color of the revolve alone and in appearance you can go to metal, you can select steel and you can apply the material or otherwise you can go to painted and you can select any one of the color. So here I am going to select black. So click OK. Now save this as part number 2. Now close this. The part number 3 is pivoted pin. So select the front plane, click sketch. So first draw a circle of 22 mm diameter. and extrude this to a thickness of 5 mm as given in the drawing. Now select the surface, click sketch and draw another circle of diameter 15 mm. Go to features, click extruded bus and extrude this to a distance of 55 mm. You can see that. Again select the surface, click sketch and draw another circle. So here we are going to mark the thread and the thread size is M10. So the diameter is 10 mm and I am going to extrude this to a height distance of 18 mm. Okay. Now I am going to mark the thread here, go to hold wizard, click thread and select the start phase of the thread. I mean starting edge, then you can select the start phase, then you can select the end phase. Okay. Now the thread size is M10 and I am going to cut the thread, click OK. Now right click on the material and change the material. Now save this, so this is my part number 3. Close this. So my part number 4 is a change pin. So select the front plane, draw a circle. So in the change pin, first I am going to draw this profile, then this 12 mm diameter, then the 6 mm diameter. Finally I am going to cut this region. So the diameter is 5 mm. And I am going to extrude this to a distance of 5 mm. Then select the surface, click sketch and draw a circle. So the second diameter is 12 mm. And extrude this to a height of 5 mm. Then I am going to draw this profile. So select the surface, click sketch and draw a circle of diameter 6 mm and the extrude distance is 25 mm. Now to create the cut, I am going to select any one of the perpendicular plane. So here I am selecting top plane and draw a rectangle starting from the axis. So the rectangle height is 6 mm and it is at a distance of 6 mm from this edge. Then you can also mark uh, the radius that is 3 mm. Now go to features, click extruded cut. So change 
through all both click ok now we have created part number four so you can change the material here I am selecting a malleable cast iron as the pin material so you can save this as part number four you can close this then create another part then select the top plane so part number five is pin and its diameter is 4 mm and it has a height of 30 mm now change the material and save it as part number five you can close this and part number six is a nut so create a new part select the front plane and draw a hexagon and the nut outer diameter is not given so I'm going to mark 22 mm and the inside hole of M10 so 10 mm diameter now I'm going to extrude this to a thickness of 6 mm as given in the drawing next I'm going to create uh, the thread go to hole wizard click thread select the start phase of the thread I mean starting edge then start phase then the end phase so here I am going to extrude the thread so select trim with the start phase and trim with the end phase click OK now change the material and save this as part number 6 next I am going to assemble this so create a new assembly so start from part 1 so if you directly click this stick without placing it then it will be fixed at the origin then insert component insert part number 2 so go to mate select these two surfaces and make it as coincident then select these two holes and make it as concentric without rotation now go to insert components insert the third component go to mate select these two edges and make it as concentric with lock rotation and these two edges and make it as coincident now insert the fourth component so go to mate select these two cylindrical surfaces and make it as concentric with lock rotation further you can select these two edges and make it as coincident then click ok next insert part number 5 the pin go to mate select these two cylindrical surfaces and select concentric with lock rotation and these two edges and make it as coincident now go to insert component and insert the nut so go to mate select this edge and this edge and make it as concentric click ok then select these two surfaces and make it as coincident so now we have created the assembly of the gear change lever thank you